Question 78.22. Questioner, after third density, in our experience, social memory complexes are polarized positively and negatively. Is the interaction of social memory complexes of opposite polarity equivalent but on a magnified scale to the interaction between mind, body, spirit complexes of opposite polarity? Is this how experience is gained as a function of polarity difference in fourth and fifth densities? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 78.23. Questioner, this is a hard question to ask, but what is the value experientially of the formation of positive and negative social memory complexes of the separation of the polarities at that point rather than the allowing for the mixing of mind, body, spirit complexes of opposite polarity in the higher densities? Answer, I am Ra. The purpose of polarity is to develop the potential to do work. This is the great characteristic of those, shall we say, experiments which have evolved. Since the concept of the choice was appreciated, work is done far more efficiently and with greater purity, intensity, and variety by the voluntary searching of mind, body, spirit complexes for the lessons of third and fourth densities. The action of fifth density is viewed in space-time the same with or without polarity. However, Viewed in time-space, the experiences of wisdom are greatly enlarged and deepened due, again, to the voluntary nature of polarized mind, body, spirit action. Question 78.24 Questioner, then you are saying that as a result of the polarization in consciousness which has occurred later in the galactic evolution, the experiences are much more intense along the two paths. Are these experiences each independent of the other? Must there be action across the potentiated difference between the positive and negative polarity, or is it possible to have this experience simply because of the single polarity? This is difficult to ask. Answer, I am Ra. We would agree. We shall attempt to pluck the gist of your query from the surrounding verbiage. The fourth and fifth densities are quite independent, the positive polarity functioning with no need of negative and vice versa. It is to be noted that in attempting to sway third density mind, body, spirit complexes in choosing polarity there evolves a good bit of interaction between the two polarities. In sixth density, the density of unity, the positive and negative paths must needs take in each other for all now must be seen as love light and light love. This is not difficult for the positive polarity which sends love and light to all other selves. It is difficult enough for service to self-polarized entities that at some point the negative polarity is abandoned. Question 78.25 Questioner, the choice of polarity being unique as a circumstance, shall I say, for the archetypical basis for the evolution of consciousness in our particular experience indicates to me that we have arrived, through a long process of the Creator knowing itself, at a position of present or maximum efficiency for the design of a process of experience. That design for maximum efficiency is in the roots of consciousness and is the archetypical mind and is a product of everything that has gone before. There are, unquestionably, relatively pure archetypical concepts for the seven concepts for mind, body and spirit. I feel that the language that we have for these is somewhat inadequate. However, we shall continue to attempt to investigate the foundation for this and I am hoping that I have laid the foundation with some degree of accuracy in attempting to set a background for the development of the archetypes of our logos. Have I left out anything or made any errors, or could you make any comments on my attempt to lay the foundation for the construction that our logos used for the archetypes? Answer, I am Ra. Your queries are thoughtful. Question 78.26. Questioner, are they accurate, or have I made mistakes? Answer, I am Ra. There are no mistakes. Question 78.27. Questioner, let me put it this way. Have I made missteps in my analysis of what has led to the construction of the archetypes that we experience? Answer, I am Ra. We may share with you the observation that judgment is no part of interaction between mind, body, spirit complexes. We have attempted to answer each query as fully as your language and the extent of your previous information allow. We may suggest that if, in perusing this present material, you have further queries, 
refining any concept, these queries may be asked and, again, we shall attempt adequate rejoinders. Question 78.28 Questioner, I understand your limitations in answering that. Thank you. Could you tell me how, in the first density, wind and fire teach earth and water? Answer, I am Ra. You may see the air and fire of that which is chaos as literally illuminating and forming the formless, for earth and water were, in the timeless state, and formed. As the active principles of fire and air blow and burn incandescently about that which nurtures that which is to come, the water learns to become sea, lake, and river offering the opportunity for viable life. The earth learns to be shaped, thus offering the opportunity for viable life. Question 78.29 Questioner, are the seven archetypes for mind a function of all related to the seven densities that are to be experienced in the octave? Answer, I am Ra. The relationship is tangential in that no congruency may be seen. However, the progress through the archetypes has some of the characteristics of the progress through the densities. These relationships may be viewed without being, shall we say, pasted one upon the other. Question 78.30 Questioner, how about the seven bodily energy centers? Are they related to archetypes in some way? Answer, I am Ra. The same may be said of these. It is informative to view the relationships but stifling to insist upon the limitations of congruency. Recall at all times if you would use this term that the archetypes are a portion of the resources of the mind complex. Question 78.31 Questioner, is there any relationship between the archetypes and the planets of our solar system? Answer, I am Ra. This is not a simple query. Properly, the archetypes have some relationship to the planets. However, this relationship is not one which can be expressed in your language. This, however, has not halted those among your people who have become adepts from attempting to name and describe these relationships. To most purely understand, if we may use this misnomer, the archetypes it is well to view the concepts which make up each archetype and reserve the study of planets and other correspondences for meditation. Question 78.32. Questioner, it just seemed to me that since the planets were an outgrowth of the logos and since the archetypical mind was the foundation of the experience that the planets of this logos will be somewhat related. We will certainly follow your suggestion. I have been trying to get a foothold into an undistorted perception, you might say, of the archetypical mind. It seems to me that everything that I have read having to do with archetypes has been, to some degree or another, distorted by the writers and by the fact that our language is not really capable of description. You have spoken of the magician as a basic archetype that this seems to have been carried through from the previous octave. Would this be in order, if there is an order, the first archetypical concept for this logos, the concept that we call the magician? Answer, I am Ra. We would first respond to your confusion as regards the various writings upon the archetypical mind. You may well consider the very informative difference between a thing in itself and its relationships or functions. There is much study of archetype which is actually the study of functions, relationships, and correspondences. The study of planets, for instance, is an example of archetype seen as function. However, the archetypes are, first and most profoundly, things in themselves and the pondering of them and their purest relationships with each other should be the most useful foundation for the study of the archetypical mind. We now address your query as to the archetype which is the matrix of the mind. As to its name, the name of magician is understandable when you consider that Consciousness is the great foundation, mystery, and revelation which makes this particular density possible. The self-conscious entity is full of the magic of that which is to come. It may be considered first, for the mind is the first of the complexes to be developed by the student of spiritual evolution. Question 78.33 Questioner, would the archetype then that has been called the High Priestess, which represents the intuition, be properly the second of the Archetypes. Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. You see here the recapitulation of the beginning knowledge of this logos, that is, matrix and potentiator. The unconscious is indeed 
what may be poetically described as high priestess, for it is the potentiator of the mind and as potentiator for the mind is that principle which potentiates all experience. Question 78.34. Questioner, then for the third archetype would the empress be correct and be related to disciplined meditation? Answer, I am Ra. I perceive a mind complex intention of a query, but was aware only of sound vibratory statement. Please re-question. Question 78.35. Questioner, I was asking if the third archetype was the empress and was it correct to say that this archetype had to do with disciplined meditation? Answer, I am Ra. The third archetype may broadly be grasped as the catalyst of the mind. Thus it takes in far more than disciplined meditation. However, it is certainly through this faculty that catalyst is most efficiently used. The archetype, three, is perhaps confusedly called empress although the intention of this number is the understanding that it represents the unconscious or female portion of the mind complex being first, shall we say, used or ennobled by the male or conscious portion of the mind. Thus the noble name. Question 78.36 Questioner, the fourth archetype is called the Emperor and seems to have to do with experience of other selves and the green ray energy center with respect to other selves. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is perceptive. The broad name for archetype 4 may be the experience of the mind. In the Tarot you find the name of Emperor. Again this implies nobility and in this case we may see the suggestion that it is only through the catalyst which has been processed by the potentiated consciousness that experience may ensue. Thusly is the conscious mind ennobled by the use of the vast resources of the unconscious mind. This instrument's dorsal side grows stiff, and the instrument tires. We welcome one more query. Question 78.37 Questioner I would like to ask the reason for this session having been longer than most previous sessions and also if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument was given far more than the, shall we say, usual amount of transferred energy. There is a limit to the amount of energy of this type, which may, with safety, be used when the instrument is, itself, without physical reserves. This is inevitable due to the various distortions such as we mentioned previously in this working having to do with growing dorsal discomfort. The alignments are fastidious. We appreciate your conscientiousness. In order to enhance the comfort of the instrument it might be suggested that careful manipulation of the dorsal area be accomplished before a working. It is also suggested that, due to the attempt at psychic attack, this instrument will require warmth along the right side of the physical complex. There has been some infringement but it should not be long-lasting. It is, however, well to swaddle this instrument sufficiently to ward off any manifestation of this cold in physical form. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, merrily rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. I don't know.